It's the Weather Blender blog, and it's a new month. It's March. All right. And we are going to march toward some sunshine as we work throughout the week. Hi, everybody. Spencer Adkins here with you. Let's jump right to the weather models. There is a storm in the great tier of southern states, and we can see that across, uh, well, from Texas all the way back through Louisiana to the east onto Alabama. And that nice little thin ribbon of precipitation that appears to be precipitation across a big chunk of Kentucky, that's not reaching the ground. That system is going to kind of follow that uh, white arrow path right there, meaning that a portion of West Virginia, Southeast Kentucky, and Southwest Virginia could be clipped by this. Let's jump out to 7 o'clock on the NAM model. Tuesday evening, the low sitting along the East Coast, but this holds a precipitation south of West Virginia. And as you can see, uh, obviously, if it did range to the north, it would be snow. That uh, rain snow line as well to the south. A little bit of a northeasterly fetch, though, working its way on in. So we jump from the NAM to the GFS, just going to compare time frames. Uh, the GFS throws the moisture a little bit farther north, clipping southern West Virginia, southeast Kentucky with a little bit of some snow in the low, just uh, slightly a little bit to the west compared to the NAM. Here we go. NAM model Wednesday morning has the low a little bit uh, to the north here, let's say, off the northeastern tip of North Carolina. Also has just a little bit of some moisture working up against the mountain slopes of West Virginia for some very light snowfall, but some high pressure out to the west. Now we look at the GFS model. Again, same time frame Wednesday morning. There's a GFS. It's, uh, again, maybe lagging a little bit there compared to the NAM in terms of speed and also is a little bit more uh, in terms of moisture, a little stronger in terms of moisture, but those highs also out there to the west. So out of that, what do you draw from all that? Well, let's show you what we think uh, the models are going to uh, produce here in terms of snowfall. Barely anything at all around Charleston, although it has an interesting stripe of that light blue, kind of teal blue. That's about two inches uh, just to the north of town. That looks a little funky to me. And nonetheless, we do see lots of little three and four inch reports, yellows and greens, and then a six inch spike right there where? In places like Quinwood and Raynell and Greenbrier County in West Virginia. So it's all mainly in the mountain slopes and really all that happens on Wednesday. That's the NAM model and this is the GFS model and it's real similar. You see lots of greens and yellows. That'll be about four or five inches of snow on those high peaks of West Virginia. It extends it to the uh, Piedmont a little bit more than the NAM model does, so a little iffy on that. Uh, in terms of how far east the snow goes, but has the same exact look though over the mountains. So I, I just wanted to jump this out ahead to Friday just to show you a little bit of hope. High pressure centered over West Virginia on Friday, 7 o'clock in the GFS model. Warming on the way though, and again, so we're still uh, running in the 40s, let's say, on that day, but on Saturday, oh, look at the high pressure right overhead. Have a warm flow around the west side of the high and the east side of the low. That's going to present temperatures in the 50s. Gotta love that. So thanks for hanging out with us here. On Blender blog. Brighter days are coming up and that should melt some of that 124 inches of snow for the entire season in Beckley and 61 inches for the entire season up to March 1st in Charleston as well. We certainly hope so anyhow. Have yourselves a good one.